Well, next to boxing and Berry's world champion Scott Quigg could be in line for a unification fight with Carl Frampton at Old Trafford in the new year. Quigg makes the fourth defence of his WBA super bantamweight title against Belgium's Stefan Jamoy in Manchester on Saturday night. And a short time ago, he was here in the studio along with his promoter, Eddie Hearn. This will be the third fight at the arena on the roll and it's like I said, each performance I want to keep getting better and better and the way I've trained I'm looking forward to putting on a real perf uh, top performance. You're making that arena your home now aren't you? Yeah well it's like I say there's nowhere in very rarely big enough now so I'm glad that Manchester has adopted me sort of thing so it's like I say it's my second home and I'm looking to go out there and put on a real real quality performance. Well, of course, before we get to Saturday, we've got the way in and anybody can come and see you tomorrow. It's at the Trafford Centre, isn't it? Yeah, it's at the Trafford Centre, 1pm, open to the public at the Grey Hall. Um, like I say, hopefully all the public will come down to show the support and, like I say, every fighter looks forward to the way in. Now, Eddie, this fellow is getting quite a reputation in the boxing world, isn't he? In this part of the world, we enjoyed watching Ricky Hatton's rise to glory. How good can he be? Well, very good, and, and really that's shown by the lack of people forthcoming to fight him. He's single-minded, um, he's just purely focused on being the very best he can. And he's a joy to work with because you give him a date and you know he'll be there and you know that he'll be 110%. I think he deserves a lot of credit. Um, he's living his dream right now. You know, he's always wanted to, to be a champion and he's doing it in front of thousands of people in a wonderful arena in Manchester. So life couldn't be much better for Scott Quigg. Um, a, a big win on Saturday and then moving forward to some huge fights you know, probably, hopefully, squeeze one in at the end of the year as well. Now, Scott, we saw some incredible scenes in Belfast earlier this week as Carl Frampton was crowned the IBF champion. He says he wants you next. Are you ready to take up that challenge? Without a doubt. He's not, he, he called me afterwards, but as Eddie knows and I know, the offer's always, always been there for, on the table for a long time. A lot of people say it's too close to call. I'm guessing you have a different view on that. Listen, I 100% believe and know that when we get in that ring, my hand will be raised. And it's like, but that's what makes the fight so intriguing. If you ask 100 people on the street who's going to win, 50 will say him and 50 will say me. That's what builds um, a great rivalry and, you know, and that's why the fight's so big because nobody knows who's going to win that fight besides me. Eddie, how big would that fight be and could you bring it to the northwest? Sure, I mean, obviously we've seen recently so many big domestic fights, obviously. Carl Froch against George Groves, 80,000 at Wembley. Let's get it on. It's a brilliant, brilliant fight. I think, you know, the first phone call to be made after Saturday is to Carl Frampton and his team and say, look, we've got to get together, lock ourselves in a room and no one leave till it's made. These are two of the top fighters in the division in the world. And when you've got that rivalry and you've got the credibility of such a great fight, then it will sell. And, you know, we'd love to do it here in Manchester. Old Trafford's been talking about, we nearly took Froch Groves there. Obviously, you've got Brooke Kahn as well. People are talking about that, and this fight is right up there with those. Um, it's a brilliant fight, and um, fingers crossed we can get that made as soon as possible. It's a big incentive, Scott. Do the business on Saturday night, and we can all look forward to that in the new year. Gents, thank you very much for coming in.